Hey guys, another quick video here showing um, why you get different performance figures from uh, different stock motors. Um, if we take a look here, this is uh, one I've started uh, modifying the ports on. Uh, hopefully you can see that, but uh, I've really opened up to uh, probably close to 9 millimeters. Um, with the cutter here now this is opening up if you take a look here you can see pretty much hopefully let me get a light in there how much larger that uh, eight millimeter burr is how much overhang there is there in the tunnel and it's the same way over here I've got to open this whole tunnel up to uh, actually get it all ported out nicely but to open it up also so uh you've got to uh, get some decent flow through there so uh there's this one this one's totally stock this is stock also if you take a look um you can see here where it's kind of a missed pour a little bit it didn't fill all the way and over here but if you take a look you go from here which is probably needing maybe two millimeters to get this guy in here look at this boom <laughs> both sides I can get there it's hard to do with one hand but uh this burrow fit all the way in now this is very unusual this is probably the first one i found that actually would fit this most all of them need at least one or two millimeters opening up all the way down the tunnels here just like this this one was like that also so uh that's another reason um you get different um different power outputs just due to the fact that uh casting differences and core shift and stuff like that but um uh it's just crazy like i said i've never seen a stock one where this was off so far where i'm not going to have to actually open it up compared to these guys so that's just another reason you can see a variance of power between these guys um Heck, this might even be uh, a different kind of casting. It looks about the same, but uh, but uh, totally different in that respect. They're just uh, a lot larger than uh, stock ones usually are. So there you go, guys.